We should check out Rancho Escondido. You know the place? Sure. Corner of Fountain and Wilton. Let's go. <laughs> but we can go, though. Uh, all right, fine. We'll just go to Rancho Escondido. Easy. Sorry. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, in the last case, we were at Elysian Fields, right? That, like, small lot with uh, people working there. It looked like construction. That was Elysian, right? Or have I already forgotten? religion in the end of a nightstick than in a hundred cathedrals. I'm not going to tell you again, sir. Don't tell me when and how I can come and go on my own property. It is not This is safe, America, sir. dickhead. Now step back or I'll lock you up for Smart a break. son of a bitch. Oh, my God, Come back dude. here. You're I'm not gonna getting off that back in the mm. That's done, Nicole. We're going to have to pacify these. Damn. Come here. Shut the fuck up and start swinging. <laughs> Bitch. Good thing you showed up when you did, detectives. Those folks were baying for blood. Okay, then. Let's see if there's anything left to take a look at. How did all these houses catch on fire? Did was it the guy? Did he? Was it the flamethrower guy? Mortar is like dust. Is that normal in a fire? I'd expect some shrinkage in the heat, but it looks like the cement barely adhered to the brick. Doesn't appear to be any wall ties either. This thing looks like it was built on the cheap. Mm. Wow. If we're paying a visit to Alicia and ruining my career, Let's bite the bullet and get on with it. Wait, is that it? We're done? Okay. Your houses are shit. Very cheap. Oop. I was about to take his car. Let's go, Biggs. Brother! Nothing, boys? No dialogue? How are we gonna end your careers with this? Nothing? Okay. Well, cut it out. 
Now I'll know if uh, we've been there or not. The other place was like a Legion Field something. <clears throat> Ooh, I swear to God. I don't think I'm going crazy. I'm going up to the lake to watch the races on. Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD, to see ago, Leland Monroe. Do you have an appointment? We're the police lady. We don't need an appointment. Can I tell him what it's about? It's an official investigation. There are two police officers here to see Mr. Monroe. Okay. And that's our cue. Thanks, ma'am. May I help you, gentlemen? We would like to speak to Mr. Monroe. I'm afraid it's impossible. Mr. Monroe's schedule is booked weeks in advance. Cut to the chase, sister. Is he in? I'm not at liberty to reveal that officer. So he hired you for your intelligence? I find that offensive. You have every right to. This is getting us nowhere, miss. Casino. Would you like us to return with a warrant? That won't be necessary, gentlemen. Come into my office. All right. Would you like a cigar? Drink, boys. Sure, I'll have a scotch. Ooh. Biggs. Okay. All the houses? We're investigating a series of domestic fires, Mr. Monroe. It's terrible, boys. How can I help? Elysian Fields and Suburban Redevelopment Fund flyers keep turning up in the vicinity of the fires. They're turning up all over town, boys. Can you imagine the current demand for housing? So that's your explanation, Mr. Monroe? Coincidence? Explanation? Why, what's to explain? I advertise on radio and billboards for buyers, and I advertise for sellers using waybills. Hmm. Oh? Yeah? <clears throat> Something's fucky. And since I know about you and uh, Dr. Arlen, I forgot his name. <laughs> and how he has uh, Mr. Uh, burn houses down, burning down houses. I just don't fucking believe you. So, uh. We found a family burnt out in their home. Another house burned to the ground. Another Elysian Fields flyer. Our information is that they didn't want to sell. Are you saying that's something to do with me? Is that your point? Point is, every time we find a family barbecue, we find one of your flyers. Is that good advertising? <laughs> what do you know about a competition for families to win free vacations to Catalina Island? My company runs many promotions. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not familiar with that one. Mmm, but your fucking face is on the flyer. Level with me, Mr. Monroe. You know all about the vacation offers. You can believe whatever you like, son. You're missing the vital ingredient called proof. This with your face on it. You're the boss of Elysian Fields. What the fu Your face is all over the flyers, Mr. Monroe. You know about the prizes, and you're aware that they get given to holdouts. My face is the brand. It's on all our advertising. Did you know that the mayor and the chief of police are part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Do you want to accuse them of murder as well? Huckster. Okay. 
an achievement I got. You know, I'll see it in a bit, I think. You've made offers to buy houses in areas where fires have been recorded. <laughs> Are you suggesting that I'm burning people out of their homes so that I can sell them new ones? What happens to your plans if a family like the Morellis refuses to sell? We work around them. Business finds a way. That's the American way. Mm. Uh, but I know you burn them down, but I, uh, I can't, like, I don't have evidence that I doubt you. Come on, Mr. Monroe. Fucking... You expect me to believe that you would build a new development with one of those old piles smack bang in the center of it? Progress is an inexorable process, detective. Those who choose to stand in defiance are usually confined to the waste basket of history. To answer your question, yes, we would build around them if we had to. Most people see sense. What's Elysian Fields' involvement in Rancho Escondido? One of our latest housing developments. It was due to open on the weekend, or was before the unfortunate conflagration. It met with building code regulations. Absolutely. Only the best for our returning heroes. Was it? You're lying, Monroe. There's something out of kilter about that development. Son, I've had enough of you and your fidgety friend. There's no way in hell you can prove that my materials were inferior. But I can, with this poor cement quality. I'm no expert, but I think we'll find that the bricks being used on those houses are undersized and the mortar is faulty. And there's no wall ties connecting the masonry to the frame. Every building is built to a budget, boys. Those buildings were inspected and fully insured by California Fire and Life. Investment of that magnitude demands it. Do you think that they'd vouch for the buildings without examining them? The arsonists, do you have any suspects? We aren't at liberty to say. I didn't think so. The contractors I use for waybills. You suppose it could be any of them? I have a list of their names, if it would be of any help. That would be very helpful, Mr. Monroe. Glad to hear it. I'm always happy to help the LAPD. My secretary will provide you with that list. Did you know that I'm on the board of the police pension fund? Don't fall for it, Biggs. Glad to be of help, officers. What's the story? Any of these names ring a bell? Uh, Chapman. Herbert Chapman is on this list. Find a phone. We need to know where we're at with Chapman. Phone? Um, outside? Maybe in here. Oh. I like you. Your boss is a fine man. But I like you. See him? Saw his picture in the paper. Use me, just gonna use your phone. Operator, give me R and I. My sister is always been lucky when it came to her weight. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, detective? Can you check whether we are still holding a Herbert Chapman? Let me find out for you. He was released this morning, detective. Damn. I'm sorry, detective. Not your fault. Can you give me a last known address and put out an APB on the guy? I'll get back to you, Detective. APB will go out over KGPL shortly. Thank you. Well, I love the chase till the minute I win it. A beautiful face delivers love for me in it. Give me your heart, and baby, I'll bill it. Cause I always kill the things I love. Some Buy me a drink, Cole? No. Not even for old time's sake? Not even for that. You're not going to ask me why I'm here? I wouldn't give you the pleasure. I'll get around to it. She's in fine voice this evening. 
I wonder how the commander would feel Save about... Save threats for someone who cares about them, Roy. You're breaking my heart, Cole. You know how I feel about you. Stay away from Elysian Fields. I should have known that you were playing Aaron Boy. You and your doofus partner. You have been warned. Thanks for your cooperation, officer. I love you. Stay away. You have no idea the type of people that are involved in that company. I have a pretty good idea, Roy. The same kind of people that sent you here. Your investigation is finished. Homicide will be taking over from here. I've heard we've had a spate of grass fires in the hills that you and that hunchback might be able to handle. Thanks for the drink, Cole. You get the message about Monroe? Yeah. Earl delivered it. You? The Kelty started making noises about my pension. Sorry about that, Earl. I didn't mean to drag you into this. Save it, Phelps. Monroe's an asswipe. And so was Earl. And so was McKelty when it's all said and done. KGBL calling the car 11K, 11K. 11K, go ahead. 11K, the last known address of suspect Herbert Chapman is 650 North Kingsley Drive in Wilshire. Roger that, KGPL. 11K en route. Let's go pick him up. All right. You fought at Sugarloaf, didn't you? I did. But I don't like to talk about it. You come across a guy called Jack Kelso out that way? You know Jack Kelso? He's an insurance investigator over at California Fire and Life. Our paths cross from time to time. For some reason, seeing you makes me think of him. Has uh, Jack spoken to you about his experiences on Sugarloaf or the rest of the campaign? Jack keeps stung just like you do. I know what it feels like to get back from conflict. You gotta respect that. Well, at least he keeps quiet about it. Paul well, really doesn't deserve that promotion. He just kind of froze up up there. Probably what saved them, but you like to leave your mark, don't you? And he did nothing. I guess here, I don't know. All these houses being built. This looks familiar. We're looking for Herbert Chapman. I'm looking for him too. I need him to move his car so I can mow the lawn. He's definitely not here. I've been banging on his door off and on for a couple of hours. Yeah, he's out somewhere. There's some kind Let's of take problem. a look at the car. About a week ago, Let's see what he's hauling around. Mosquito coil. Motive, opportunity, and hard evidence. Are you drunk, mister? Or are you just crap? Ammo? Point 45. He's clearly armed. 
Oh, it's a disgrace. Leaving your wife for a drug fiend? Ugh. And a bunch of flyers. Definitely gives him opportunity. Holy cool. There he is. It's Chapman. He's coming out of the laundromat. Shit. He's seen us. Cops. Again. Jesus. Son of a bitch. He must have caught the trolley. We gotta move fast, Cole. I'll call this in. Get some cars dispatched. Do I just... Car 11K calling KGPL. 11K requesting assistance in pursuit of suspect aboard the 1110 University streetcar. Jesus. Currently heading east on Melrose Avenue. Advise all units. Suspect is in control of car and driving dangerously. Roger, 11K. All units, officers need assistance on Melrose Avenue. The suspect yeah, is fucking clowns are everyone. Streetcar headed eastbound. Oh. Approach with caution. Suspect is in control of the streetcar and driving dangerously. Get a stay on code 3 identified. Stay on his ass, Cole. Don't lose him. Dude, can I really lose him? See if he can damage one of the wheels. Might act like a brake and slow the thing down. I mean, it's on a Look, track. Look, Cole, the side plate's gone. Get me closer. I think I got a shot here. I can't hit a target that isn't there, Phelps. Hey, End of the go. line, you little prick. Come on, Cole. Like we have our man, Cole. Well done. I'm not so sure. Chapman seemed to have his own agenda. There seems to be more to this than a personal vendetta. What are you talking about? The fires benefit a lesion in some way. I don't see Chapman and Monroe working together. You have a point. The evidence is good for Chapman. It's hard to be worrying about his side of the story when he's blasting away with that big 45. Nice work, gentlemen. Put yourself at considerable risk stopping that trolley and probably saved a lot of lives. Anyone else but you, Phelps, and you'd be up for a bravery award. We've had our eyes on that slippery son of a bitch Chapman for as long as I can remember. I couldn't be happier than to wipe him off the scoreboard. I hope this puts to bed that crazy stuff you had going about Leland Monroe. What were you thinking, Phelps? Be calling Richard Nixon a crook next. <laughs> what is it? A letter from Lou. His insurance policy named me beneficiary. California fire and life. He worked for Elysian? The roof that he was working on collapsed. It's a very generous settlement. Elsa, I'd like you to do something for me. I think there's something dirty about Elysian Fields. What has that got to do with Lou? I want you to reject this settlement. I want you to go and see an investigator named Jack Kelso and ask him to make some inquiries about Lou's case. Isn't this police work? Do you want to find out what happened to Lou? Why would he help this Kelso? Jack won't be able to help himself if he smells a rat. He is a friend of yours? He hates my guts. Elsa, you could take this money and let them get away with it, or we could get Jack's help and do something about it. Why not be honest with this man, Cole? He deserves your honesty if you want his help. Believe me, Elsa, I'd like to level with him. I really would, but it's too late. Years too late. A walk in Elysian Fields. 13 out of 13 clues found. 8 out of 8 questions correct. Extinguished. 1,863 vehicle damage and 120 city damage. Chapman takes his motive and any possible ties to Monroe 
and Elysian Fields to the grave.